I'm Rico, and today I'm flying closer to the sun than ever before, to Mercury. 58 million kilometers from the sun. Close enough to burn everything, even me. Outside, it's over 400 degrees. And I keep asking myself, why did I volunteer for this? From a distance, it looks like the moon, only far more Delhi. Pressure, radiation, heat, Ugh. everything, everything is trying to crush me, but the engines are holding. No clouds, no shelter, only the raw, blinding light of our parent star. I wonder, has anyone ever felt this alone before? No oceans, no air, just rock and darkness. Scars of a billion years, burned by the sun itself. Landing sequence initiated, a moment no one has ever lived to feel. I chose the twilight zone, where day and night meet. Both want to kill me. Mercury, I'm here. Pressure stable, oxygen level's good. I'm going out. The light here, it's like standing inside a nuclear reactor. The first feeling, silence. A silence so absolute, it makes my ears ring. If anyone finds this recording, it probably means I didn't make it back. The air here is a vacuum. Every step feels like pressing into the emptiness of the universe itself. It's so cold, it feels like holding a fragment of death itself. Temperature dropping fast. Only a few hundred meters from the ship, and it's already minus 100 degrees. That way lies eternal night, and I intend to walk into it. Don't worry, I'm just gonna take a look. Mercury can't be that cold, right? I was wrong, terribly wrong. My fingers, they're getting numb. Feels like touching liquid nitrogen. Hypothermia warning. Only a few minutes, and my body's already at 35 degrees. I told myself I'm fine. But I was lying. When I exhale, the vapor freezes right in front of me. I can't feel my hands anymore. Every movement feels heavy, like lead. Core temperature, 33 degrees. My body's betraking me. I know I'm losing heat. Don't sleep. Sleep means death. Everything around me slows down. Even time itself freezes. 28 degrees. I'm still alive. My body's breaking apart, but my mind still here. If I can just reach that light, I will live. Sometimes, life is only a few steps away from death. I see it. The light of life. Escaping the night only to enter the fire. 427 degrees, the fire bathes my skin through the glass. I can feel my skin boiling, boiling. Cooling system is failing.
coolant leak. Perfect. The radiation cuts through everything. I can feel it in every cell. My hand is burning. Feels like a thousand needles stabbing through it. The pain, it's so much that every feeling just shuts off. I'm roasting myself alive. It feels like a fever I can't sweat out. This is the limit. Beyond 42 degrees, the body starts to break apart from within. I can hear my heartbeat blending with the sound of the solar wind. My body's given out, my vision's fading, but I'm still not dead. A beautiful death, painful, but beautiful. Two deaths on the same planet, cold and heat, both unfeeling. Call. Rescue ship. I'm not sure I can even speak clearly anymore. The ship. Got my signal. Auto rescue. Engaged. I can feel my body drifting. Weightless. It's cold in here. But it's the cold of life. My body burns, freezes, then burns again. I've survived both extremes. I saw it with my own eyes. The closest place to the sun isn't the warmest one. The light here, it saved me and tried to kill me. Log entry, Mercury, a planet of two extremes. One side frozen, the other burning not meant for life. The ship is leaving orbit. Thank you, Mercury. I won't be coming back. I don't know if I just survived or if I've been reborn. These scars remind me that even light can kill. If someone asked me to rate Mercury, I'd say two out of 10. Beautiful, but absolutely insane. Sometimes you have to get close to death to understand the value of life. Rico, end of Mercury log.